In today's video, we will be going through the process of installing Ubuntu Desktop on VMware Fusion, and this one is running on Mac OS environment. So let's get to it. All right. So, like I mentioned in today's video, we will be going through the process of installing Ubuntu Desktop on VMware Fusion, and again, uh, this one is on Mac OS environment. All right, so again, quickly, uh, VMware Fusion is a virtual, virtualization software that you can use to install additional operating systems on your guest or uh, host operating system. So I'm on Mac, and if we wanted to install Windows operating system or uh, uh, Linux operating systems on Mac, then we can leverage the use of VM, uh, Fusion, uh, VMware Fusion, and basically we will install um, we'll download our ISO images for those operating systems and come here and create a virtual uh, machine pointing to those operating systems and now after that we can be running um, our Windows operating system or Linux operating systems uh, within Mac environment. Uh, so again in this video we will be going through the process of installing uh, Ubuntu desktop. Uh, in the previous videos I went through the process of uh, installing uh, Ubuntu server and uh, we created the VM uh, machine for that and also if you have not downloaded VM uh, where Fusion I made a video where I went through the process of uh, downloading and installing that it is a bit confusing confusing to download and install VM where Fusion especially after VMware was moved to Broadcom uh, but in this video that I made previously I went through the process of doing that so if you're struggling uh with the process of doing that uh, definitely do take a look into this video uh and it will be able to walk you through the process of installing uh the virtualization software in your mac environment um so once you have the uh, firmware fusion uh installed uh the next thing that we need to do is uh download the image for ubuntu desktop so to do that uh, we will go to Ubuntu uh, documentation here. If you go to Ubuntu, uh, just Ubuntu uh, website, um, it will list a number of products. So we downloaded the server last time and uh, you will see the desktop here. Um, and if you try to click the desktop uh, version of this, actually this one is not going to work for mac and uh that is something that i struggled a little bit earlier trying to figure out how to download for mac so this one that is listed on the official uh, website here uh is not going to work for mac uh for because mac is running on arm architecture and uh so this one is only to work if you are installing and running uh, this on windows uh so how do you get the desktop uh, image for Mac. So to do that, you will actually have to go to um, this other website where uh, Ubuntu releases their uh, images. It's called uh, CDI image. If you just type CDI image Ubuntu, uh, it will bring you to this Ubuntu uh, CDI image. And I'm going actually, or CD image, I'm going to put this in the description. So if uh, you want to find the website, for this, I'm just going to uh, put it in the description, the link so that you can just navigate directly. Um, but yeah, so this is how you do it. And from here, all you have to do is basically uh, open this. And uh, here, uh, a number of images will be listed. The one that we want to use, uh, you, I believe you can go to releases, but I'm just going to go here to daily life. You can find the daily images here. And here, I'm just going to go to current. If you hit current here, uh, you will see uh, the images now for desktop uh, listed here. So again, for macOS, the one that we want to download is ARM. This one, uh, Oracular Desktop ARM.iso. So we will just go ahead and download this. Okay, so this is going to download the desktop uh, fashion that will work for us in Mac environment. So we will let this download. It might take uh, up to two or three minutes and uh, we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, so our image has now completed downloading 
and uh, from here uh, I think we're good so we need to go back to our PM way feature now and uh, install uh, this image in our environment okay so we will go to our VMware so I do have my VMware fusion open here and all we have to do is uh, just I'm going to enlarge this uh, all you have to do is go here uh, just hit here where it says you see this add button here uh, just uh, click it and click new and right here it says install from disk or image and we downloaded our image so that's what you're going to do and we will click here continue and uh, right here you can either drag your uh, disk here or you can also browse to it so i'm just going to browse and uh, you can see right here in our downloads that is the image that we have that we just downloaded for the desktop so i'm going to uh, click that and open it all right and then uh, from here we can just hit continue and uh, right here you see the default configurations it's going to allocate 20 gp for hard disk and then also choose a uh, 4 gp for ram and uh, two uh, virtual CPUs. I'm okay with that, but if you want to customize this, either increase or reduce, you can go to customize settings and uh, adjust the settings. I think you can also adjust them once you have your virtual machine created. Uh, for me, I'm going to leave this as default and then we just hit finish. Okay, and save it. All right, so this is going to start our installation. So you can see here it's able to um, detect our Ubuntu uh, desktop so we'll go ahead and hit enter for this and our installation should begin so you can see now if you watch the previous one where we installed the server we didn't see this icon right here so with the desktop version you will see the Ubuntu uh, local and uh, we'll just let it uh, install and uh, proceed from there all right so our desktop is now installed so you can see now that we are able to see this GUI ready and again the difference between this Ubuntu desktop and the other one for server is with Ubuntu desktop you can install it through GUI so it's preparing now and then I think after that we should go ahead and install Ubuntu uh, so let's see all right so you can see this is English now so we'll click next uh, this is the same process again if you wait the one where I went through the server uh, you know the server was uh, asking us but that was through CLI to choose the language so we'll click next for this and then accessibility in Ubuntu uh, you can customize this I'm just going to leave this as default all right so that's the language uh, for the keyboard that's fine with me uh, and connect to internet sure we will use wired connection i do have wi-fi okay it's choosing that that's fine let's go ahead and go with that all right and uh let's uh do the installation so install ubuntu interactive installation um for users who want to be guided through step by step yes let's do that you can choose this automated and it's just going to go and install it for you I'll, I'll go with the interactive one all right and then for this one i will also leave the default selection and uh, these are additional proprietary softwares i'm not going to pick any of this i'm just going to go next uh, how do you want to install ubuntu rs disk and install ubuntu yeah that's okay with me let's do that and then from here we can enter the name i'll just enter my name here Uh, so this will be the name for our computer and our username I'm going to take take this to be uh, change that and enter the password here all right so my password is good now so we'll go next and then for the region you can select your region here I will leave it uh, as default for New York and then we go next and uh, this is our summary so this one is looking good for me we'll go ahead and install 
all right so this might take a few minutes to set it up so we'll let it run through and here i think we can press enter yes yep just press enter and it will bring you hopefully to the login page yes so we see now our username here so just click that and enter your password all right so we are now logged into our ubuntu server uh, uh desktop okay so i'm just going to click next uh share with ubuntu team i don't think i want this uh, all right and we'll finish it all right so this is our ubuntu desktop now running on our vmware fusion all right so i mean th that is basically how you install uh your ubuntu desktop on vmware fusion and from here you can uh do all you know that you need to do uh, i think for me you can navigate if you can change the browser uh, if you want basically use this to download uh chrome uh you can show apps see more apps here i think the one that i'm usually interested in is terminal so you can go to terminal and uh, run your commands okay all right guys that's all i had for you in this video i hope it was helpful and uh, if you found it helpful please do subscribe to the channel if you have not and uh, do give thumbs up to this video all right that's all i had for you in this video i will see you next time Bye bye